Hey you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I will be sharing my kindergarten homeschool curriculum picks for the 2023-2024 homeschooling year. You guys, I'm so excited to start off one of my kiddos from the beginning in our homeschool journey and <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, but I am ready to go. So if any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I'm a homeschooling mom to three girls ages 11, 5, and 3, and I will be entering in my fourth year of homeschool this upcoming homeschooling year so you guys let's go ahead and get on into this thing with math so for math we will be continuing with the kindergarten math with confidence series by kate snow we actually completed the preschool math at home series this homeschooling year and you guys this program was so great and i'm so excited to like continue in the series the preschooling math at home uh, series actually really laid a good foundation for my daughter to start the kindergarten math with confidence series and um, you guys this is such an affordable and a very thorough uh, great math program it definitely works with the kiddos with that mental math that subitizing it really gives them a good foundation in number sense with mathematics so I'm really really excited to continue off the series Kate Snow's math with confidence series now as far as math I do have a second math curriculum that we will be using as a supplement because my daughter loves math so we will be using the math you see primer with her as well you guys she loves this program as well she loves using all like the math manipulative blocks with this one and this is such a great and sweet uh introduction to math and to number senses as well now do i think you need two math curriculums absolutely not but my daughter loves it we actually can do both of these math curriculums in about 20 minutes so uh 20 minutes to sit down with your kindergarten i think that's nothing uh these primer sheets you guys they take like literally two minutes and sometimes Sometimes we can get like two three sheets done like fast because they're really simple uh, great math skills she loves this one and then the math with confidence series the games and the things like that we can break up these lessons but we do do them all together so these are the two books we will be continuing off with our math so as far as like our phonics and phonics instructions, we will continue with the All About Reading program. This is All About Reading Level 1. We actually worked on the All About Reading pre-reading program this homeschooling year. And you guys, I'm so excited and I'm so happy that I did the All About Reading pre-reading program with my uh, five-year-old. My five-year-old actually has a speech delay and we worked with our speech therapist all this homeschooling year as well. And when I started the All About Reading pre-reading program, my speech therapist noticed like a big jump in Leia's speech and her speech development and I'm so happy that I went ahead and I did that pre-reading skills program with her it really focused a lot like on like the rhyming the syllables and even though she did know her letter sounds before entering the program um, all of the games was definitely great in helping her with her speech in particular so in knowing that my daughter has a speech delay and we will continue with speech therapy this upcoming homeschool year as well I am going to be be taking this all about reading level one very very slow my goal to end off our homeschooling year is to at least get through half of this book I'm really going to take and follow her lead when it comes to reading and reading instructions. I don't want her to hate it. I know she's going to have to work at it a little bit harder than most because of her speech delay. So we're just going to take things at her pace and um, I'm just going to try my best to make it as fun as possible. And because All About Reading has like so many interactive games and she's not like writing or things like that, we can like really focus on the phonics. I think she's really going to continue enjoying the All About Reading program. So this right here that I'm holding is the all about reading teachers manual it also comes with the three cute hardback books you guys um, I'm really hoping these can stand the test of time and I can use them at least for one more of my kiddos coming up um, it also comes with the all about reading learning activity book and as you guys can see I already took out my like yellow sound cards and I laminated those because we already started just using the um, all about reading um, level one cards so she can kind of like get used to how like the sound cards look so we've already started using those right now so I really need to assemble my all about reading activity book so I can have it planned and prepped and ready to go and it will be easy for me to reuse it again with my last kiddo so this is the all about reading activity book if you guys want to see me prep this uh, like all about reading curriculum I definitely can make a separate video and showing you like how I'm going to like organize it and everything like that 
so the all about reading program also came with this like reading um interactive kit and this has like all of my little magnetic uh pieces as far as like the letter sound car or the letter sound towels is what they're called so i'm not too sure if i'm going to do like the big whiteboard or if i'm just going to have these like in a little box and we'll pull them out as we do the reading lessons i'm really trying to figure that out but these are like all of my um little letter towels that goes along with the program and then of course my uh reading box so that is is all about reading uh, level one. Now, as far as like extra supplemental things that I am going to be using as far as phonics instructions, I know sometimes uh, you do want to like break and pause while you're doing like your formal phonics to like bring in some like supplemental practice things. And I decided to go ahead and use the JDA Elemental Phonics level one as far as like our supplemental practice. Um, I know some days we may not pick up the formal all about reading curriculum and I do uh, want her to have like the continuous skill and practicing like the blends and the phonetic sentences and I definitely think by using this uh very very clear I love how like clean the pages are in her elemental phonics is and I definitely know this will give us like a something else a fresh a breath of fresh air to look at especially in teaching phonics and reading um another supplement that I have for our phonics instructions is of course explode the code you guys you really can't go wrong with this um we actually did the uh, get ready for the code uh book a this homeschooling year and then I found quickly she didn't need any more of like the letter sound phonics instructions so I skipped the rest of the series and I held on to it for my youngest daughter so uh for her we're just going to go ahead and start off with the level one as far as other like cute books that I have for her to do um, as far as like reading goes, I do have the first book set of the Bob books. I will be checking out some phonetic readers from my library as well, just so she can kind of get a variety of different readers and uh, things that she may be interested in, especially as she gets more fluent in her readers. But we will start off with like just the beginning set of Bob books, you guys. These are tried and true and we're just going to go ahead and stick with it. As far as handwriting goes, we will be starting off with the Kickstart uh, Kindergarten from Handwriting Without Tears. We actually did the green preschooling book this homeschooling year and it went really, really well. I actually purchased the chalkboard with the chalk and the sponges as we were really uh, practicing forming those uppercase letters. And I will continue to use the chalkboard with doing the lowercase letters in the Kickstart for Kindergarten. I also have the Kindergarten book, which is the letters and numbers. I'm not too sure if we will get through like two uh, handwriting books this homeschooling year but if we do I do have both of the like pre-k and the uh, kindergarten handwriting without tears uh, handwriting to go for her now you guys as far as like our science and like our stem and things like that I decided to go ahead and go with knowledge crates you guys I definitely wanted to keep our homeschooling year simple I didn't want to have to think about it you guys I wanted something that was going to be all prepared for me at least for like our stem our art our science and you guys knowledge crates definitely came in clutch for me this book this box right here you guys has 20 activities it has it comes with also five um actual books as well to pair along with each of the like the art and the stem activities everything that I need is in this box I don't have to think about it you guys uh this will definitely ensure that my kiddos get art <laughs> for this upcoming uh homeschooling year and I have no excuses so I'm really really excited to continue with the knowledge crate series I am going to do the quarterly boxes this year so this is the spring quarterly box so I will have like a summer crate a fall crate and a winter crate and you know of course a spring crate to like go with me throughout the whole homeschooling year and I'm really really excited to have everything put together for me I really really don't have to think about it and um I still can touch on like those science and fun STEM activities we also will be checking out books from our library as far as like science and uh some things on like community helpers and geography I will definitely utilize my library as well and bringing in uh literature in our homeschool as well but other than that you guys I'm really going to keep it simple this homeschooling year especially in starting off kindergarten I really want to focus on the three r's our reading writing and arithmetic and I definitely want to make sure I give my kiddo a strong foundation in those subjects I know our 
formal science and you know geography and history those are to come in our upcoming homeschool years but I definitely want to just like ease us into our homeschooling journey and uh, really really um, I guess motivate uh, my middle daughter Leia and have her be excited about homeschool so you guys these are my kindergarten curriculum picks for my upcoming homeschool year stay tuned for my uh, next videos that I will be posting I will be sharing you guys what I'm going to be using for preschool slash pre-k for my three-year-old and also my sixth grade homeschooling curriculum picks for my oldest daughter so you guys as always thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one bye